Chris Black Party for having us. Woo! Uh, we're all Vegas to get us started. Can we have a word? Timbuktu. Awesome, I love Timbuktu. That's the last of them. These are the finest lodge beams I've ever seen in my entire life. These beams, though they don't look it in this pile, are going to create a wonderful lodge someplace. I swore I'd never built another log cabin. Well, you know what? I know I pulled you from retirement. I know that I threatened your family in order to pull you from retirement. But I just want you to know, when, when I build this lodge, wherever the location is, there's going to be great revelry had within this lodge. Thank you. You have your revelry. I don't want anything to do with it. Well, now you're free and clear. I'll go back down the hill. I'll unlock your family from the cage I put them in. They can run up here, hug their dad. You're a real man don't to your whole family. Sorry. Touch me. All right. Appreciate it if I could see Penelope and Jonathan as soon as possible. They're fine. I want you to know uh, my assistants kept them very well fed. Uh, anything I said to you has just all been threat. It's just threat, blowharding of the manliest kind. I never met your assistant. You never mentioned an assistant. Well, I've been up here with you for two months while you cut down these trees. What, did you think that they were feeding themselves off of grapes hanging over the cage, maybe? Come on, man. I'm not a savage. All right, fine. But don't ever ask me to build you a log cabin again. Never. Never. Your father, your father is getting us out of here. We will, we will be okay. We'll be okay. <clears throat> oh, when? When is he getting us out Jonathan? of here? Jonathan? Jonathan, you have to trust. You have to trust in the love of our family. Please, Dee, will you please not be in here all the time? You're right. Just being an assistant, dedicating my life to assistanthood. I never had my own family. I was kidnapped. I'll go. I'll go make some. No, stew. Geek, you can stay. No, no, no. Geek, clearly, your geek. mom. No, clearly, your mom wants alone time. Mom, I love Geek. No, it's fine. It's fine. Well, if Geek, 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 we can make Jello. <laughs> I'll bring you some Jello cups. Oh yeah, we can make. Just let him go. You know, he's keeping us captive here. He's making sure we're not plotting anything. It's not up to him. You seem like you want to stay. You seem like you don't even care. You don't even care if we go back to the mansion. Well, I want to go back to the mansion and everything, but I don't think we need to treat Geek poorly. I mean, what's this really about, Mom? It's... It's about... It's about your father just uprooting his... his all his belief system. He just done with this life. <laughs> Log cabin. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Daddy built log cabins? We didn't want to tell you. That's what this is all about. He built the best GD log cabins that Daddy's this whole pencil pusher. world has ever seen. He is now. Hmm. You should have seen him. His wife fell in love with him. He had the confidence. His arms were as big as oak tree. <laughs> <laughs> Prairie lemonade, prairie tea. Did you say prairie lemonade? I did. Would you like one? They're a dollar a piece. Uh, I don't have dollars. I just have gold. Oh, well, we take gold. Oh, that is way too much, uh, sir. I don't know how much it costs. Well, this... Where are we at? <laughs> that feels good. Look at you. I, uh, here. This is... Have another home. Um, have another. Oh, God. You know they taste good uh, too. You drink these? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I only drink salmon blood. That's all. That's all I have. Oh yeah. Anyway, nice meeting you. You must be new around here. I am. I am. I uh, I was over on the East Coast for a long time, and recently my soon-to-be ex-husband. Uh, he had moved us out here, and now that, um... So you're married, then? Well, we're getting shouldn't a divorce. even be talking to you. We're getting a divorce. Um, he cheated on me. What? 
Yeah. What kind of man cheats on a beautiful woman like this? <laughs> Do go on. <laughs> I I just feel like I'm unloading on you, and I mean this, you you way too much. Here, have another. Have a tea. Tea. And I can run down. I can run down to the base and get you some uh, salmon blood if you like. Oh, this tea's amazing. I made it myself. Special Hornby recipe. What'd you say your name was? Judith Hornby, and I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Doug. Hi, Doug. Doug Fur. That's a strong name. <laughs> um. But you don't want to hear about any of that. You were married before Pop Pop. There's a lot of things you don't know about your father and I. We were human beings before we had you. <laughs> That's it. I made the last prayer for... for rain. Oh, my bones. Oh, my bones, they hurt so much. Oh my God. I'm always on the cusp of rain. It never comes. Oh man, this is the worst. Oh, uh, listen here, I'm uh, done surveying your land. Oh uh, yeah, how about uh, it? How many acreages? Well, here's the thing. Oh, acreages, you've got at least 400 acreages. Oh man, and more than I thought. If you could just get it to rain, I tell you, sir, you would have a glorious, you'd have a kingdom oh, that's, of beautiful crops. That's what I was thinking when I bought the parsage. I, you know what? You didn't even need to tell me about that. This parsage just calls out to a man. It says, buy me, take me home, it buy me drinks. It says hope and prosperity. Does. Yeah. The promised right. land. Exactly. Right. It says, uh, take off your business suit, put on some cowboy boots and an overall, get a pitchfork. <laughs> Just really feel it, you know? Go back in time. It's like a time... You know what's weird? It's like that movie uh, where they make the, the Field of Dreams. You go out into this field, and you feel like you're you're a pioneer, like you've gone back in time. Well, I am a pioneer. I, I Well, you are. I mean, it is 2017. Yeah, so, I, I mean, mean like, you're not all that it. much. Yeah, look, it really pains me. It pains me that I work for the bank. Clint, uh, looking over your uh, appraisals this month. Yeah, um, yeah, boss. Uh, it looks like you've only gone to one, one parsage oh, for man. the last 20, 28 days. <laughs> Let me tell you, if you could, if you could just get out of this forty-six story high rise, mm -hmm. come out of the city, come down to the prairie, and see this parcel, you, <laughs> like. You, I can't even describe it in words. No, uh, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna cut you off. I'm getting the same number, the same value for every time you've appraised it. Yeah, it's so why are we going back to the same place more than once to keep appraising? Now you're kneeling. Yeah, I'm not proposing. It's a corner office. I actually am. I'm gonna propose. I should be kneeling in the corner well, office. Listen to me. Just let let go of your. You're touching me. All right. Let go of your fancy business lifestyle for just one second, right? Okay. Do you remember when? Like asking a duck to let go of his wings, but all right. <laughs> do you remember when you were a virgin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. And then do you remember the the moments after you had sex for the first time? Pure clarity. Exactly. That's what it's like when you go back. When you go to this parcel, it like. It's so amazingly possible. Uh, all, it's like heaven on earth. It takes the words from out of my brain. Molly Dixon was her name. It's like going back <laughs> to moments before. <laughs> oh, you better hurry. You better put that back on. Otherwise, he's going to hurt your family. He's going to hurt my family. Yeah, yeah, even though you finish the job, you still. You're, you have a beautiful boy. I must say, your boy is beautiful. Thank All right, and I love spending time with him. And I don't want anything to happen to your family. Honestly, I'm on your side. It's just a chair. You say it's just a chair. That was Deke's father's chair. And if you, if you, if you just finish the job as is, you're golden. You'll let him go. Okay. I went to a lot of silverware. Yeah. 
I know. He's got. He's he's having you build him a whole house. He's right. having you build him a whole house. He started with you with the beams, and then you're and then you're crushing down metal and making precious, precious, it's precious inlays. It's inlays, okay? I, I'm just a geek. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, this is perhaps the finest log cabin I've ever built. Yeah, it's supreme. All right. Now the job is done. How did he keep breaking his things? It gives it a patina. Every log cabin needs some patina. <laughs> okay? Some character. It can't be turnkey, you know what I mean? Look, I don't have much time. Okay? The work you here done is supreme, but he's gonna keep on tacking more jobs until basically you're- That wasn't the deal! <laughs> I know it wasn't the deal. Your family's kidnapped! He doesn't, he doesn't deal in deals! He said a log cabin! <laughs> That's what he said at the- I don't know what's- how does it not work? How is this not working with you? Uh, he made a deal, yes, with a handshake, but honestly, it's- there's no law up here in this land. I should know! Place. I'm not even related to him! He kidnapped me long ago! All right. Had my father working on a project, working on the still! Trying to build one of those! That was your dad's project. That was Martin Claymore's. Was a good man. <laughs> was a good man. Was a good man. He died from starvation. Was that what it was? I... And your family was going to die of starvation too, but I keep feeding them. Finding little nuts and berries oh. scattered throughout the woods. Oh, geek, you're a good man. Thank you. I'd love you to take me with you. Because I'm planning to get you and your family off of this. Well, baby steps, you get the family out first. We'll get us out of here. Your boy, your boy's a, he's a well-built boy. He's, he glistens when the sun hits him right at right time around 4 o'clock. <laughs> There's just, there's this, there's this, the, the, the hue of his skin, I'm just complimenting, the hue, the genes you two put together to create such a, a perfect marble of a kid. Oh, my boy. He's, he's gorgeous, and honestly, I think you should consider taking him to modeling school. What? Hell no. I'm just saying, consider it. Shit's in the city. I, I, well, I know, but he's a cash cow, and honestly, you don't want to waste that. He's a beautiful, he's a beautiful boy. All right, geek, I get it. I'm just saying, I'm... Now, Geek, tell me, tell me what I have to do, all right? More here, I just done. Just, just look busy. Just, don't tell him that you're finished with the silver. Keep on, just make yourself look busy. You can do that, right? Yeah. You used to be the best. I you were the best. You are. All right. And I'm going to work on getting your family out. And then we're going to come for you. Wait, did you hear that? I think he's coming. I think he's coming. <laughs> Baby, I think, I think we might die here. And I don't want to lose hope. Well, one of the geeks will help us. I don't know. I just don't know. They're, they're in cahoots. Well, yeah. They haven't brought us any acorns for two days. I'm sure Geek will. Yeah, but which one? Geek? Mom, do you even want to get out of here? <laughs> of course I want to get out of here. I want to go back to our ranch. I want to raise you. Right. What about Dad? Your father's made his choice. Any, any man in his right mind, when someone comes to steal your family in the night, you fight them. <laughs> you don't say yes. You don't just cow down and start building that person a cabin. I <laughs> seem to remember Dad thinking it through really well. <laughs> we, were at, we were in the foyer for two hours waiting for your father to decide whether to do it or not. We looked at the pros and cons, checks and balances, columns. He, he put out gravity. <clears throat> Judith, I saw you talking to that beefy man cutting down all those trees. <laughs> yeah, you might have. <laughs> I, uh, I also noticed that you took all the lemonades you were supposed to deliver to my table and just let them pour them all over himself. <laughs> well, I, mean, I can't help what he does with them. Yeah, well, you could get more lemonades and drop them off at my table. Just say, so look at all this. Oh my god, that's amazing. Look how... Thirsty, my table is. <laughs> Judith, please. No, you're Judith. Oh, right. I forgot. I got remarried. Jane Judith. I forget. I forget. 
for being a Judith <laughs> right now. I am finally finding some happiness after yeah. after the man who will not be named sure. left. Yeah, totally. You know, you know what the best thing about that beefy man is? It's he looks like the type that is somebody came to him in the middle of the night and tried to like take his family, he'd fight him. You think so? I do think so. Oh, he's got guts up to wazoo. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> What are you going to do? I'm probably going to marry him in Wazoo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you, you're so, you know what? You're so confident after you divorced that guy who cheated on you. I just want you to know that. Well, we're still going through the proceedings. But thank you. I always take up a, a pretty compliment. I will go put lemonades down on your table. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, building log cabins is my life. I can't just quit and get a desk job. Well, if you say you love me, but you've said every single time we've, we've gone to lunch or when we went to the drive-in to see where the red fern grows, <laughs> <laughs> and the double feature of that and the Fields movie. Yeah. I remember all those movies. The baseball Fields movie. I just, don't, I just don't know if I'm cut out for pushing pencils, you know? Babe, the only like, guy I know is the guy who appraised the land. It's not about the job. It's about what you really want out of life. And I can tell you're not happy. You're not happy lugging around big beams and, and making plans and building lavish cottages. What if you built us a mansion? A ranch mansion. <laughs> and we had ourselves some children. A ranch. <laughs> Oh, uh, hey guys, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Oh. Uh, I think that's called a ranching. <laughs> I, I, I just bread? said ranching. I will take some more, please. Okay, Can I have a cup of <laughs> 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 <laughs>